His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa offered profound condolences to the Mayor of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Michal Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba, over the passing of the late His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba. His Majesty the King also offered condolences and sympathy to the sons of the late deceased and to the Al Suba family, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace and to bless the Honourable Al Suba family and the Kuwaiti people with patience and solace. His Majesty King Hamad lauded the achievements and virtues of the late His Highness Sheikh Nawaf, highlighting his efforts to advance his country in all fields, as well as serve his people and Arab and Islamic nations, in addition to his contributions to consolidating the Joint Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC March, along with other GCC leaders, affirming the distinguished regional and global status enjoyed by the State of Kuwait during his reign. His Majesty the King expressed his full confidence that His Highness Sheikh Michal Al Ahmed will carry on the development and progress to bring about more prosperity for Kuwait and its people, thanks to His Highness's statesmanship and long experience in managing state affairs. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to guide His Highness Sheikh Michal on the right path of success and to bless him with abundant health and wellness and affirm the continuity of joint efforts to consolidate the two countries' deep-rooted solid fraternal relations which have been strengthened further over the past years to serve common interests. The Mayor of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Michal Al Ahmed, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his sincere sentiments and supplications, reflecting the depth of this distinguished historical fraternal relations between both countries and their peoples, wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to the homeland following a visit to Kuwait, where he offered his condolences to his brother, His Highness Sheikh Michal Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba, on the demise of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba. Earlier yesterday, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa left Bahrain on a visit to Kuwait to offer condolences on the demise of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi following his re election. In the cable, His Majesty wished the Egyptian President success in achieving the ambitions and aspirations of the Egyptian people for further progress and prosperity. His Majesty commended the deep rooted bilateral relations between Bahrain and Egypt. His Majesty the King emphasised the commitment of the Kingdom of Bahrain to continue to strengthen the ties between the two countries, highlighting the strategic partnership that brings them together. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, the Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the Commemoration Day ceremony held under His Royal Highness's patronage at the Al Sakir Palace. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness, who was accompanied by a convoy of cavalry, was welcomed by the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Commander of the Royal Guard at Special Force, His Highness Staff Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa in addition to senior officials, senior officers and families of fallen servicemen. The Deputy King headed to the main platform and the national anthem was played on the occasion of the Commemoration Day.
favor. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله اشترى من المؤمنين أنفسهم وأموالهم بأن لهم الجنة يقاتلون في سبيل الله فيقتلون ويقتلون وعدا عليه حقا في التوراة والإنجيل والقرآن ومن أوفى بعهده من الله فاستبشروا ببيعكم الذي بايعتم به وذلك هو الفوز العظيم التائبون العابدون الحامدون السائحون الراكعون الساجدون الآمرون بالمعروف الآمرون بالمعروف والناهون عن المنكر والحافظون لحدود الله وبشر المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم Following the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, the artillery fired one shot, a minute of silence was observed, and then a second artillery shot was fired. A musical band played the last Army. return melody, which ended with a fly past by a fighter jet squadron from the Royal Bahraini Air Force, the RBAF, in tribute to the fallen servicemen.
The Court of Cassations Sharia Department Chairman and Al Fatim Mosque Imam Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah Al Khattan delivered a speech paying homage to the martyrs of duty and offering prayers for them. Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah thanked His Majesty King Hamid for designating the 17th of December as Commemoration Day in recognition of the sacrifices made by fallen servicemen who lost their lives while performing the patriotic duties. The National Guard commander advanced to head of the column where he saluted His Royal Highness, the Deputy King. Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah prayed for further health and prosperity for His Majesty the King, as well as continued success for His Royal Highness to fulfil the royal aspirations to achieve further development which will benefit the Kingdom and its citizens. داعين لشهدائنا الأبرار ماضيا وحاضرا في مملكتنا الغالية البحرين وفي كل مكان بالرحمة والمغفرة ودخول الجنان ونقول اللهم إنا نسألك يا الله بأنك الواحد الأحد الفرد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد اللهم ارحم شهداء الوطن الأبرار وحط عنهم الأوزار وقهم عذاب النار وأنزلهم منازل الأخيار وأدخلهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار يا عزيز يا غفار اللهم نور مرقدهم وطيب مضجعهم وآنس وحشتهم وارحم غربتهم وقهم عذاب القبر وعذاب النار ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس يا سميع الدعاء اللهم قد ترك الشهداء أهلهم وودعوا أحبابهم وفارقوا ذويهم اللهم فارحم دموع المحبين وحنين المشتاقين اللهم واجمع بينه وبين أهلهم وأولادهم في جنات النعيم اللهم اربط على قلوب أمهات وآباء الشهداء وألهمهم الصبر والقوة والسلوان يا رب العالمين اللهم وفق ولي أمرنا ملكنا حمد بن عيسى لما تحب وترضى اللهم احفظه وأدم عليه موفور الصحة والعافية والسعادة وأطل في عمره وتوله بعنايتك ورعايتك وبارك له في ولي عهده وفي أهله وأبنائه وذريته اللهم وفقه لهداك واجعل أعماله الصالحة في رضاك اللهم وفق لما فيه الخير والصلاح للبلاد والعباد وهيئ له البطانة الصالحة الناصحة يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم آمنا في وطننا البحرين وفي خليجنا واحفظ لنا جيشنا ورجال أمننا واجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا سخاء رخاء وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم احفظ جنودنا البواسل المرابطين على الحدود واربط على قلوبهم وسدد رميهم وانصرهم على عدوهم واشف جرحاهم وتقبل شهداءهم يا سميع الدعاء ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين نقرأ سورة الفاتحة على أرواح الشهداء الأبرار في الماضي والحاضر وفي كل مكان ونسأل الله عز وجل أن يجعل هذه الساعة ساعة إجابة وقبول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
After that, the Royal Protocol's chief requested His Royal Highness to water the palm tree, a symbol of eternal life. Finally, the national anthem was played, signalling the conclusion of the commemorative Get event. Get in! La! Assalamu al-Malaki! His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of Commemoration Day as a solemn occasion recognising the contributions of fallen servicemen since the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain. The Deputy King noted that the fallen servicemen embody the highest value of bravery and are a source of pride for Bahrain for generations to come. His Royal Highness emphasised the significance of the 17th of December as a pivotal national commemoration each year under the leadership of His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. The day honours Bahraini servicemen who sacrificed their lives, whether within Bahrain or abroad, in defence of the values of righteousness and fairness, while upholding national security and sovereignty and combating terrorism. His Royal Highness saluted members of the armed forces and security authorities for their unwavering commitment to serving the kingdom and its people with courage and valour. His Royal Highness the Deputy King affirmed that every fallen serviceman is a national hero, noting that the heroic actions will remain engraved in the national memory. His Royal Highness highlighted that the families of the fallen servicemen are equally honourable as the martyrs, citing the patriotism and commitment to instil the love for the kingdom in the minds and hearts of their sons. The Deputy King commended Bahraini citizens for their admirable attitudes, unity and dedication in supporting the families of the deceased servicemen, demonstrating the cohesion of Bahrain society where every martyr is cherished as a son of every Bahraini and are all part of one family. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Fund at Tamkeen, His Highness Major Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa.
His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the state of Kuwait to extend his condolences to the Mayor of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Michal Al Ahmed Al Jabba Al Suba, following the passing of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabba Al Suba. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, extended his condolences to their Highnesses and Excellencies, the children of the late Emir, and the members of the Al Suba family wishing His Highness Sheikh Michal Ahmed Al Jabba Al Suba success in continuing Kuwait's progress and development to benefit Kuwait and its people. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad recalled the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabba Al Suba in championing Arab and Islamic causes, consolidating joint Arab action and advancing Kuwait's development. His Royal Highness highlighted the commitment of the late Emir and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in furthering Bahrain-Kuwait relations and advancing multi-sector collaboration. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Michal Al Ahmed expressed his gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness and the accompanying delegation for their heartfelt condolences. His Royal Highness was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. Under the patronage of National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the Royal Guard's Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a ceremony was held to mark the Commemoration Day in the Royal Guard in Bahrain Defence Force. سلام سيدي سمو قائد الحرس الملكي سلام قف
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سيدي الفريق الركن سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة مستشار الأمن الوطني قائد الحرس الملكي أخواني الضباط الأخوة الحضور السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيدي خير ما نبدأ بحفنا هذا آيات من الذكر الحكيم يتلوها على مسامعنا الرغيب أفضل عبد الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا بل أحياء فرحين بما آتاهم الله من فضله ويستبشرون بالذين لم يلحقوا بهم من خلفهم ألا خوف عليهم ألا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون يستبشرون بنعمة من الله وفضل وأن الله لا يضيع أجر المؤمنين صدق الله العظيم Following the recitation of verses of the Holy Quran one shot was fired for a minute of silence. A second shot announced the end of the silent tribute. After that, the band played the last return melody and the religious guide offered the prayer of the fallen servicemen before His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid watered the palm tree, which symbolizes eternal life. سيدي الدعاء لارواح الشهداء مع العميد الدكتور محمد ابو جندل اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وتجاوز عنا وعنهم واكرم نزلهم وسع مدخلهم اللهم اغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الابيض من الدنس اللهم اغفر لنا ولهم يا رب العالمين اللهم ابدلهم دارا خيرا من دارهم واهلا خيرا من اهلهم اللهم اغفر لنا ولهم يا رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اجمعين Jump 
the commander of the Royal Guard, said that the names, memories and sacrifices of the fallen servicemen of duty among the people of Bahrain will be immortalised in the history of the nation, will always be written in the letters of light in the history of our dear kingdom. His sign said the contributions they made in the arenas of pride and honour, defending the homeland and supporting our brothers and supporting legitimacy. His Highness added that the anniversary of the Fallen Servicemen's Day was a generous gesture from His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, to affirm the high status of the martyrs to His Majesty and his high appreciation for the noble sacrifices in the fields of pride and dignity. Royal Guard Special Force Commander Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa attended the ceremony. His Highness Sheikh Nasser pointed out that the emblem, the Razji flower and the green palm frond has turned into an icon expressing the marking of Martyrs Day and is a badge of pride and dignity which by wearing it makes Martyrs Day bearable. His Highness the National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain will not neglect nor forget its heroic men who sacrificed their lives for their land. In conclusion, his Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad al Khalifa expressed his gratitude and appreciation to the families of the martyrs who carried the banner of national responsibility so that their children can continue the path that the heroic fathers and relatives followed to continue the path of sacrifice and redemption with all honour. اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وتجاوز عنا وعنهم واكرم نزلهم ووسع مدخلهم اللهم اغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد اللهم اغفر لنا ولهم يا رب العالمين In line with an order by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Royal Court Minister extended utmost thanks and appreciation to the Royal Family for the congratulations to His Majesty the King on the National Days and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and the accompanying national celebrations. The Royal Court Minister also thanked presidents and members of the state's authorities and constitutional institutions, members of the diplomatic corps, heads and members of the municipal councils at the private sector establishments, citizens in Bahrain and abroad, presidents of the national associations, chairmen and members of national clubs and associations, editors-in-chief of local newspapers, mass media, the expatriate communities in the Kingdom of Bahrain and all those who participated in the national celebrations marking the Kingdom's national days. The Mayor of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Michal Ahmed Al Jaba Al Saba, received members of the Al Saba family who offered condolences on the passing of His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Saba. A crowd of citizens and residents also gathered to offer their condolences on the demise of the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed. May God rest his soul in eternal peace. The Al Suba family received condolences for the passing of the Emir of the country at Abayan Palace, during which the state of Kuwait has declared a state of mourning which will last for 40 days.
yesterday, the Emir of the State of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Michel Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba, received the Majesties, Excellencies, and Highnesses, Kings, Princes, and Presidents of a number of brotherly and friendly countries, in addition to Crown Princes, Heads of Government, and representatives of countries. The leaders and dignitaries offered condolences on the demise of the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba. May God rest his soul in eternal peace. The crowd also offered their condolences and sympathy to their highnesses, excellencies and the descendants of the deceased and to the Al Suba family, pointing out the virtues and exploits of the deceased and his contributions to the development, renaissance and prosperity of the state of Kuwait, in addition to his great contributions to serving the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations. The state of Kuwait achieved numerous accomplishments and successes across various sectors during the reign of the late Emir, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba. May his soul rest in peace. He left behind a legacy that reflects unwavering dedication to serving the nation and achieving progress and national stability. During the reign of the late Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, may his soul rest in peace. The state of Kuwait achieved numerous accomplishments and successes across various sectors, including politics, economy, society, education, culture, and healthcare. His Highness made a commitment to implement a comprehensive reform program aimed at addressing all challenges. He chartered a roadmap for the success of this program, emphasizing the importance of effective cooperation between the National Assembly and the government, the enforcement of law and order, and the promotion of responsible and constructive dialogue that unifies Kuwaiti society and advances the common national interest. The late Amir Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah placed special emphasis on national unity. On several occasions, he called for the unity and collective efforts of all Kuwaiti citizens to overcome challenges and difficulties. He firmly believed that the unity of the Kuwaiti people was the only path to surpassing these challenges and their consequences. Furthermore, he dedicated himself to stimulating various economic sectors, fostering the development of products and services, and creating competitive investment opportunities. Kuwait's sovereign wealth fund assets ranked first in the Arab world and third globally, reflecting his commitment to economic growth and prosperity. Regarding foreign policy, the late Emir pursued a balanced and flexible approach, seeking to expand Kuwait's relations with countries worldwide. His foreign policy adhered to established diplomatic norms, including respect for national sovereignty, non-interference in internal affairs, adherence to international legitimacy, the preservation of international security and peace, and the resolution of disputes through dialogue and peaceful means. The late Amir's tenure was marked by his tireless efforts to advance Kuwait's progress and welfare, leaving a legacy of achievements and commitment to the unity and prosperity of the Kuwaiti people. Kuwait's National Assembly Speaker Ahmed Asadun called for a special public session to be held on Wednesday in order for Sheikh Michal Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba to be sworn in as the country's Amir. The call is according to Article 60 of Kuwait's constitution, stipulating the Emir, before assuming his power, takes an oath at special sitting of the National Assembly. Kuwait cabinet last Saturday named Sheikh Michal Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba Emir of the State of Kuwait after the passing away of Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba. His Highness Sheikh Michal Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba emerges as the 17th ruler of Kuwait in accordance with the constitution and the law of hereditary succession, following the footsteps of the late Emir, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba. May his soul rest in peace. 
A new era begins on Kuwait's journey of progress and prosperity as Sheikh Mish'al al-Ahmed al-Jabr al-Sabah carries forward Kuwait's leadership, following in the footsteps of his esteemed predecessors. Sheikh Mish'al was raised within the realm of governance, being the seventh son of the late Sheikh Ahmed al-Jabr al-Sabah. Sheikh Mish'al received his education at Limbarkiya School, the first formal school in Kuwait. Subsequently, he joined Hendon College in the United Kingdom to study police sciences, from which he graduated in 1960. After completing his studies, Sheikh Mish'al al-Ahmed al-Jabr al-Sabah began his career in the Ministry of Interior, gradually advancing through various positions. In 1967, he assumed the role of Director General of Public Security, holding the rank of Colonel at the time, and he continued in this position until 1980. On April 13, 2004, he was appointed as the Deputy Chief of the National Guard with the rank of Minister, where he served until assuming the role of the Crown Prince. During his tenure, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al al-Ahmed al-Jabr al-Sabah achieved remarkable accomplishments in the military sector. He left a distinct mark in the development of the state security apparatus and displayed a keen focus on its advancement and the capabilities of its members.